I'm as surprised as you that I'm sitting here with this basket of trash that even though I haven't filmed in nine months, I managed to keep collecting my trash with the internal optimism that I would be back. And here I am. Yeah, I know I posted a video with the, uh, Yeah, I know I posted a vlog and uh, some other videos, but like, I literally am filming this two days after I posted that video, so. Am I back? That's a lot. That's a big commitment, guys. I don't, I don't know if I can commit that yet. I don't. If you hear my children and my husband, it is, uh. The day before Thanksgiving, and I decided that I needed to film two videos and record a podcast. <laughs> Eternal optimist coming through. This is one of two videos. <laughs> Tell me if you can figure out which is the other video. I'm not going to mention it. And, uh, I asked them to please be quiet because I film upstairs and they have a living room upstairs. My oldest keeps yelling, oh, come on. I don't know what he's yelling. Oh, come on. Maybe a video game. I don't, I don't know. So, uh, I guess I've rambled enough. You want to know about my trash for the last year. Let's dive in. I kind of turned multivitamins for like a significant amount of the year and then I fell off the multivitamin train. So there's quite a few in here and then it just stops. So we have the Centra MultiPlus Omega-3 gummies. Uh, they were, they were not bad. A herbal essence, totally twisted curly mousse. Uh, I broke the top off, but it's empty, so. I don't use that mousse anymore, but I did use that mousse for like four years, so. An herbal essence, totally twisted curl scrunching gel. I still use this gel. This is my favorite gel. I don't go to a lot of curly product. I, ha I didn't wear my hair curly for like, nine months though so I didn't go to a lot my favorite dry shampoo the detox by dry bar this is in the coastal cooler scent I got it at a Marshall liked it I repurchased it I have big full price when I can't find it at Marshall's this is my favorite dry shampoo I don't go through a lot of dry shampoo though so Oh, another one of those vitamins I was talking about. This is the Trader Joe's Woman's Formula Multivitamin Mineral. It was I I don't notice anything with multivitamins. I notice if I don't take my vitamin B, which there is no bottles of, but I did finish, and my vitamin D. I take like a vitamin B super complex, like give me all the vitamin Bs and smash them together. Yeah. We have a mouthwash. It is the Swish by Colgate in the Mild Mint. I liked it enough to buy it again. It is, I, I tried a different, I tried Spearmint this time, but uh, I will go back to my outfit. Repurchase, definitely. Centrum Multi Gummies Multi Beauty. I have repurchased these. I've gone through more than one of these. They're okay. I don't really notice anything. I don't notice anything with multivitamins. I just keep taking them because they tell me to keep taking them. I think it's uh, I think it's a scam. But I do it. A cleansing balm. 
that looks like a butt. It's a peach. It's by Tony Moly. I will not repurchase this one, but I did enjoy it. Uh, face sunscreen by Sunbum. I uh, this is like the fifth one of these I've gone through. I love this stuff. This is the only face sunscreen I use because anything else I use breaks my face out. Last night's BJ had a system and today's BJ is like, oh, okay. We have a shampoo, whole blends, green apple, green tea, would not repurchase. I've actually found a shampoo combo and conditioner that my hair really, really likes so much that I've re like, I'm not going to change until my hair obviously doesn't like it anymore. And it really, really likes it. It, well, here's one of the products. It's the BioSilk Hydrating Conditioner Shampoo. And then I double shampoo, but the other shampoo I use is the RN Co Television. I got the first bottle in a Fat Fit Fun. I only shampoo my hair like once a week. And uh, I still am not done with it because, like, you shampoo with that. And then you double shampoo with the hydrating shampoo and then you condition. My hair loves it. It is so happy. <sighs> There's a lot of setting sprays in here. There's a tiny Morphe setting spray. A full size Morphe setting spray. A wet and wild setting spray. Okay, that was three setting sprays. There's a perfume that went bad. It made me really, really sad. It is Ralph Lauren Blue. But uh, it's it's gone bad. And I very rarely have perfume go bad. And there's so much left. That I'm so disappointed in myself. Like you can, I don't know if you can see here that it has changed colors. Yeah. Yeah. It's also been sitting under my desk for a long time since I realized it went bad. This one they don't make anymore, but luckily I went through it all before it went bad. Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance. So nice. So nice. Like, you take romance, but you darken it up a little, spice it up. Okay, I like Ralph Lauren Romance. <laughs> and one of these deluxe, deluxe sample sizes of Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I like getting sizes of it like this because I'll wear it enough to enjoy it. But I don't love it enough to pay the prices to even get a travel size of it. I did scent for one time. And I got the Glossier, the Glossier, Glossier, you, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I don't know if I enjoyed it enough to buy it full size. I bought this last year at Christmas. I used it up rather quickly. I bought it last year at Christmas, the native candy cane body wash. It was only available at Christmas. When I went into Target a few weeks ago, they had it. And I bought the full size this year because I really, really enjoyed that. Because it's not as spicy as Dr. Bronner's. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. This is how I learned I can't use native deodorant because it makes my pits very angry. The native candy cane, I absolutely loved it. Used actually most of this. Yeah, used most of this stick up before my armpit decided to have a reaction. So I thought maybe it was because most of the mint essential oil had to settle to the bottom. So I let my armpits heal and then I tried the sugar cookie one I bought all the seasonal scents last year and uh 
no, like four days in, it was like, nope. So it's something in the native deodorants. I went on a natural deodorant journey last year, and now I'm just back to using regular deodorant because natural deodorant did not, it was not, no. This one is not like natural as in fragrance free, but it's aluminum free. It's the Sol de Janeiro Rio Dio deodorant. It's uh, pricey. Smells like the Boom Boom cream. The deodorant came out in the lid. Won't go back down. Can't finish it. Yeah, that's not a repurchase. Um, Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. This was like my jam for many a year. And then I tried. Oh! <laughs> then I tried the Avino Calm and Restore for sensitive skin. And this replaced this. There's one Avino, two Avino, uh, an Original Skin Origin Serum, a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I use this as a serum. Would not repurchase this. This, this didn't, I, no. The Avino Calm and Restore Serum. And I'll tell you what I'm using right now. Oh, wait, there weren't one of the... Oh, here it is. One of the things... So, like, I had a complete skincare revamp into the summer. So, I'm now using the... Oh, it's, it's like squish, squish. The Good Molecules BHA Clarifying Gel Cream. And you can see I used every last drip of this. Up until about two, three weeks ago, I used it every time I washed my face. I use it like once or twice a week because it was a little too much for the drier air. And then I use, I don't have an empty one yet because the stuff is lasting forever. Oh, it's the... The other, it's not good molecules. Oh, I'll put it down here. It's a hyaluronic acid serum. I use that. And then I use, I am not giving you skincare advice. I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream on my face year round. My face just really likes it. And I know and it has stuff that could break out your face, but my face really likes it. So, and I have a really particular face, like really particular. So we're going to do what it likes. We're just going to back away with our hands up and be like, CeraVe Hydrating Face Wash. Pretty sure it's the biggest one you can get. The value size. A Native Charcoal Body Wash. I repurchased that. I liked it so much. A Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Bath and Body Works Shower Gel. I have not bought a Bath and Body Works Shower Gel in... Eighteen months. This one looking crusty and dusty because I uh, left it sitting in the shower for a while after it's empty. Method Body Peony Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Pure Peace. I mean, I like the methods. They're um, they're they're okay. I'll buy them every once in a while. Packages of makeup wipes. You can see that I ran out of the Sam's Club members 
Members Mark, I think, or whatever that brand is. And went to Kirkland's brand, the Costco brand, because they're my favorite. Yes, I know makeup wipes are horrible for the environment. I know, I know, I know. Now we're into like the little stuff. The last bottle of the Bausch and Lomb Lumify Drops. These were the whitening drops. But I realized I have really dry eyes and using whitening drops makes it worse. So no more whitening drops. I have some things that expired and then I just have some things I completely used up here. Like, well, this isn't expired, nor is it used up. But um, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. I really enjoyed it, loved the way it looked, but my skin did not like it. Every time I wore it, I got a least two big cystic pimples, so, but it took me like 10 weeks to figure that out because I wasn't wearing it often enough to associate what was going on, or I'm a really slow learner, or... I didn't want to admit what was going on because I was already out of the return window. It looked amazing on my skin. This I used up mostly, but it was the wrong shade to begin with. It was a little too dark. It was the original, original Shape Tape Foundation by Tarte. I actually liked the way that looked on my skin. But uh, all the scandals and stuff, they didn't make it. So, no. This was just a smidge too dark. Like, the girl at Sephora asked me, she's like, do you want your makeup just a little darker, a little pale? I didn't understand what she was. It wasn't enough that it was, like, a big deal. But, like, I didn't understand. I used up, like three quarters of the bottle, the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I liked it. I have found something I like better and this, like so much so that it unseated the YSL All Hours Matte Foundation, which I've gone through a bottle of and repurchased. Never do that with foundation. I'm trying to finish it up, but like it's, I don't know if in the past year what has happened, like my skin has gotten super dry or I've just gotten old because it's not a super matte foundation, but after like four or five hours, no matter how I prime it, it breaks, it's like in every crack in it. I, no, I'm now wearing the NARS glow it's the one in the square bottle the short square bottle that doesn't come with the pump you have to buy the pump for it. I love it I have it on today it's okay so back to this oh we have another perfume the in Full Bloom Blush by Kate Spade. It's no longer made, but I found the ginormous bottle at a Marshall's in Louisville. And I called my husband and I'm like, I don't need to this. I don't need to spend the money, but like I loved it so much that I went through the travel spray size. It's no longer made and I would really like it. And he's like, okay. And I've already gone through like A third of the bottle like I love it it's oh, why why do I always love perfume sick of discontinue a benefit roller lash I have actually found a drugstore mascara that I love there's two of them in here that I that's all I've been using there's a lot of like mascara that I went through though yeah just trying to go through mascara. An Essence Lash and Brow. It's a clear brow gel mascara or clear brow gel, but 
what they don't tell you is that the tube is clear so you can see it doesn't get dirty from doing your brows. We have a Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I've repurchased it before, but I won't anymore. A Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pen... Goof Proof... Yeah. Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It's okay. A Chapstick Candy Cane. I actually went through a Chapstick. Like, wow, that's impressive. Oh, wait, another one. I, a NARS... Afterglow lip balm, and I actually went through this. Like, I finished that lip balm. Got every bit of that prestige lip balm money. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I buy the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I hate this mascara. <laughs> I buy other mascara I know I like, and then I see this at the store, and I'm like, everybody raves about it. This transfers on me so bad on my bottom lashes that it's just, as soon as I put it on, transfer all day. But keep buying it, though. I need to, like, somehow imprint on my brain that you don't like the voluminous carbon black that everybody else likes. What I do like is the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes Mascara. Chef's Kiss, I have it on today. In the, I don't have that kind. Uh, this is the oversized eye. I like this brush a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's like this shape. I did not repurchase this kind when I bought it. I tried a different kind. Like, I have like a bunch of different kinds. So, but I will buy that kind again. And then this is just the plain Bambi eye. And the brush is like, kind of like the roller lash without the wonky, maybe. I don't, I don't know. And then we have an It Lash Blowout that I had. It was a deluxe sample size. No, I think I used it like three times and I was like, I cannot. No, I cannot. Uh, we have an Ilia? No. I don't even remember it. So that's... We have a Laura Mercier Amethyst Caviar Smokestick. I don't remember it. Oh, we have another Caviar Stick in Vanilla Kiss. Obviously, I use them up, but, like, I don't remember using them up. They're not. My favorite concealer. It's in here twice because I buy them from these sides. Because it's so expensive. It's the NARS uh, Radiant Glow, I think. I'll have to insert the name down here. Uh, it's. In the NARS, I'm pretty sure Radiant Glow in Light to Vanilla. I finally broke down and bought the big one. Uh, three NYX Precision Brows in Espresso. That's all I use to do my brows and then set them with the clear brow gel. Here's a MAC brow pencil that I had had for a long time. It was in lingering. I obviously didn't repurchase. Uh, I used it up though. The Stila Smudge Stick Eyeliner in Vivid Labradite. The gray. Eyeliner I love the most is the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliners. <laughs> they stopped making them. So now I'm going to be on the hunt for something like these. These didn't smudge. They didn't transfer during the day. They liked my eyes. This is the one in Earthquake. 
Um, I like used it up where it fell out of the pencil. A MAC Technical Eyeliner in gray print. I actually don't like MAC eyeliners. <laughs> They're too dry for me. A Gimme Brow Sample. It's like eyebrow gel with some color. A ColourPop Clear Eyebrow Gel. I didn't like it. A Glam Glow Face Mask. Benefit the, prof Ugh. Benefit the Professional Hydrating Primer in the like mini size. I have that downstairs. I don't use I need to use it up. Uh, an Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask. I actually really love this mask. So I have the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer and Hydrating Concealer. This one went bad before I could use it all up. Like, it went bad super fast. And then this one started, like, making my eyes burn. So not only repurchased there... And then these lipsticks just went bad. Uh, this is the Huda, Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Medusa. I also never really liked the formula of that one, which was kind of disappointing. I should have taken it back. Um, it was too oily. Like It was supposed to be like a matte liquid lipstick, but it was like oil slick. Like it didn't set down. And then this lipstick just went bad and it is it is a Givenchy in a red color that I truly did enjoy but I have so many lipsticks that I forget about the mini ones and oh my gosh I'm gonna have so much to edit guys because we have like 10 minutes of me sitting here like la 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 because the dog is barking and stuff like that but the basket is empty and that is a year's worth of empties that i remember to save guys i can't even tell you probably what i threw away without saving it so 